we are going to fully pretend that I streamed at 5 and I'm not an hour and 16 minutes late. We're gonna pretend, okay? This It's definitely 5 o'clock right now. And I'm definitely not late. Right? Okay, good. Glad we're on the same page. Anyways, hi guys. How are you doing today? I'm hoping you guys are doing good. Well, hey, look, I'm technically not late if it's 5 p.m. for at least somebody, okay? <laughs> if it's 5 p.m. for at least somebody, I'm technically not late. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna jump over to Wild Island. I'm gonna get some butterflies. My goal is 1.5k before the end of stream today, but I don't know. We'll see if we get there or not. Um, I am gonna work on a video today. Once I start working on that, I'm going to, like, record, too. But, I'm gonna need your guys' help with that video, because, uh, it's gonna be hard to do everything on my own. Hello, Ken. How are you? Good, sir. He came right up to the camera. He knows I'm, he knows I'm filming right now. Where is Sugar? All right. Let's see, we're currently at 950 butterflies. We gotta get, like, 550 to reach my goal. Which shouldn't be the worst. I think I got about 500 last stream. Hey, thank you for the $2. I really appreciate that. Man, we got people from all over time zones right now, huh? But I will explain what I'm gonna need your guys' help with. I don't know if you saw my community tab. Hold on, let me pin that real quick before I forget. You guys have seen my community tab. I did toss around the idea of potentially starting a series where I make, like, courses based around characters that I like and things like that. And I already know what my first group is going to be. I just got to figure out what horse breeds I'm going to use, what coats I'm going to use, what hair I'm going to use, and things like that. Which is what I'm going to need your guys' help for. Which, I'm going to do some butterfly catching. Once I get bored of that, we'll work on that a little bit and stuff from that. But, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, I the first set I want to do is some of the Genshin characters that I really like. Because I feel like they would be really interesting to make in horse form as well. Might take a little bit for butterflies to spawn. No, not Hu Tao. Oh, there's the donation thing, finally. Yes, the Green Pearl IUH does have a name now. Their name is Salad. Which, if people really like the Genshin horses, we'll do more of Gen We'll probably do more Genshin characters. But I'm gonna do, like, some groups of characters and things like that first that I really like. And I'm gonna start with the Sumeru guys. Because they're my favorites. Which is... Kave. <laughs> Kave, Alhatham, Sino, and Tainari. Are the ones I'm gonna do. As like my first test group. For like the series and stuff. Also. my <laughs> I'm slowly... Not on purpose. Slowly ruining my sleep schedule again, and I'm scared. I'm gonna try to fix it, but... I, I do need to do a Horse Valley stream at some point. I also have a couple Horse Valley videos I need to do. I just haven't got around to doing them. But, um, I'm excited to do, like, the themed horses because it's something I've tossed around as an idea for a while. So finally doing it is going to be pretty fun, I think. 
Ooh, there's butterflies over here. No, I just barely missed the ledge. Okay, we'll have to come back for those. It's fine. We'll come back. Like, I think Horse Life is a pretty cool game. I just don't know, like, what content to make on it. Because when I play in public servers on stream, I can't really do much horse catching because people just steal horses from me and stuff like that. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. You know, it's really funny you mentioned that because actually the reason I was late to stream... Or, well, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't late, but the reason I was, uh, you know, I was just I, a couple minutes late to stream today <laughs> was because I was recording the video where I forever fill the winter events finally, even though I'm like four, four or five months late now, but that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I also don't want to, like, I don't want to spend too many hours playing, like, Horse Life right now. Because I, the data is going to get reset when it moves to the next stage of development. And, you know, I don't want to spend hours and hours and hours getting, like, the perfect horses just for it to be reset. When I'll have to just do it again anyways. I have not seen the bunny jumps yet, no. Um, I, when I redeem butterflies and stuff, hopefully I will see them then. Uh, horse life data. So horse life right now is in the alpha stages. The game. Uh, I don't know if you heard about it, Aloha. But it's made by Sonar Studios. It has a bunch of fantasy horses and things like that. Once it moves from the alpha stages to the beta stages of development, which means it's getting closer to release, they're going to wipe data, I believe. And then there's going to be a data wipe on full release as well. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna- there's gonna be a data wipe during beta. I could be wrong about that, but I know for a fact that when full release comes out, there will be a data wipe. Which makes sense. They don't want people to be super far ahead when the game, like, just releases. No, 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 no. Not Horse Valley. There's a new horse game. I know you were pretty busy around the time it came out, so I don't know if you've, like, heard of it or played it yet, but it's pretty fun. It gives off, like, um... I don't know. How do I describe it? It kind of reminds me of, like, an MMO game, in a way. I don't know if that's... Is that a weird comparison? I think that's kind of a weird comparison. But it reminds me of, like, an MMO game a little bit. Uh, like the, uh, like the RPG games, like the multiplayer RPG games. Like, um, World of Warcraft and games like that, or World Zero. Those kind of games. It kind of, it, it sort of reminds me of those. Yeah, that's one reason I haven't, like, done too much grinding on there or anything. Because I know it's going to get reset. Um, I did have... I was tossing around some ideas for a Horse Life video. I just don't know really what I would do that would be interesting for you guys. Like, would you guys want to see me just, like, try to catch horses? Or, like, try to breed horses? Or, like, I don't know what would be really that interesting to do that I could pull off. Um, if all the servers get shut down, there's a very high possibility they're just pushing out an update. Because that's often what happens when people, uh, when they force shut down the servers. Sugary Spirit is, is died. 
they are not an IUH. I wish, I wish, because there'd be a really pretty IUH, like icy blue with a white TB. One does exist that looks like that. Absolutely gorgeous. But no, they're just, they're just died. This is based off of one of my characters, which is why I dyed their hair. Often I don't dye my horse's hair as unnatural colors. So, like, I already talked to Evan about, like, horse breeds for, like, the group. And I think we decide. I think we decided that for Kave, a Frisian would be best. We decided Frisian for Kave, two Arabians, one Tainari, one Sino. And I don't think we figured out one for Alhatham. Least favorite horse on Wild Horse Island. Um... I don't really have like a least favorite like out of the ones i have named well actually that's a lie out of the foals deadbeat this guy the graveyard mustang just because i don't like the graveyard mustangs that much they are my least favorite i could see i'll hate him being a percheron i could see him being a percheron i'll get chat's opinion on it too though kave is very fancy i i feel like i immediately was like he would be perfect for a frisian he would be absolutely perfect for a Frisian. And I'm like thinking what would maybe be good. Maybe like a Pearl Sabino Frisian. That might be really pretty. I think that would kind of fit because it's a similar to his hair color kind of. See like. What I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to base their hair color on what horse color they are and then whatever their outfit colors are is use that for tack because that might be the best thing that's gonna work i don't know if i'm gonna incorporate eye color in any way but a lot of them have eye colors that have like other things on the design that are the same color and things like that have you watched tomorrow yes i have i'm actually friends with tomorrow yeah. Nightbot sniping people? Oh dear. Hold on. Okay, sorry. My mom was talking to me. She found, like, an old drawing I did. Let me see. What's my butterfly count at right now? Oh, dang, we're still not even at a thousand. We were getting so many of them yesterday. I think a lot of them just haven't, like, respawned. Like, they haven't spawned in yet because I haven't been here that long. Nightbot just bullies people, pretty much. It's it's just a normal thing, honestly. Yeah, I bullied your account because objectively, a lot of the things on your account were not good. <laughs> they were not built properly. Uh, you didn't have a lot of items that were actually useful. So yes, I will proudly admit that I bullied Caden for their Genshin account. And I did tell you, next time we're in game together, I'm helping you build your characters. You know, the Nightbot and Pockybot have a great um, talent called They Ruin the Moment, like, all the time. They're just really talented in that way, you know? They're really good at ruining everybody's days, that's for sure. Ring coats. Um, 
they're a little bit lazy, but they are at least somewhat better than some of the last coats from other events. So I'll give them that at least. But they're still not that high effort. The only one that I think they actually put effort into was the Marwari coat. The Marwari looks like it actually had at least some effort put into it. The other two, they're okay, but you can still see, like, remnants of low effort in the coats. I'm assuming you meant forever full, and I'm guessing it just auto-corrected to Faith. But, um, favorite forever full would be Quinn, because Quinn was my first forever full, and I'm a sucker for Clover Clyde's. Favorite island IUH hunt on. Um, I don't IUH hunt that often, but usually when I do, I go, I gravitate to Lunar, or I do a set of four islands, which is Forest, Blizzard, Desert, Lunar. So I guess that's the best answer I can give, really. Favorite event horse you own? Ooh, that's a tough one. Probably Jackson. Which is this funny little man. Just because there's like a whole story behind how I got him and why he's named that. And we got him a gender spot potion and all kinds of stuff like that. Favorite V1 horse? Um, I'm probably gonna say Jackson also. If we're not including events in V1s, I would say... Probably Icarus. No, 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 no. Not Icarus. I love Icarus, but... Hold on. Where, Where is she? It would be Echo. Because Echo was one of my first, like, horses that I absolutely fell in love with. Yeah, that is kind of something that's- it's sad, but it's true. Over time, when games get more popular, a lot of the time it seems like updates tend to get a little bit lower effort. Which, it sucks, but you know what? It- it happens. Like, I don't know. Personally, I think the event horses, like, really peaked around, um, I think, what was it? I'm gonna say, like, spring 2023 was right before the coats started getting worse. Because, like, I know some of the coats were kind of poorly received, but at least most of them, you could see the detail and effort that was put into them. And then summer 2023 was just disappointing compared to, like, spring. Favorite TB? Thin Mint. 100% Thin Mint. How could I not love Thin Mint? Thin Mint was my first, like, main horse that I used all the time. How many butterflies you have? We got 1k right now. My goal is to get 1.5k before the end of stream today. Which should be possible, but I am gonna have to take breaks to, like, work on the video project and things, too. I gotta start working on that or I'm never gonna get it done. Or at least I need to, like, write down the stuff for each, like, character slash horse thing. Favorite V2 Frisian. Ooh. That's a tough one. Because I don't have a lot of V2 Frisians that I, like, really, really like. Oh, let me grab these butterflies and I'll look through my inventory. Like, 
I feel like I want to say Icarus 2. But at the same time, let me, I, I need to look first before I make that commitment there. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to say Icarus 2.0 is probably either Icarus 2.0 or Ivory. I love Allison too, but I just don't have as much of a bond as I do with those two. Um, I didn't really do anything too crazy for Easter. Me and my sister went to my cousin's house and we ate chicken and potatoes and then sat around and stared at each other. So that's kind of how I spent my Easter. I know, it's very eventful, of course. Only the most exciting of things for events. I'm on Wild Island right now. It's your least favorite horse. Um... I don't know. If, if we're including event horses, I'd say Deadbeat. He's a forever full must- uh, forever full graveyard mustang. I really don't like the graveyard mustangs. Like, I really, really don't like the graveyard mustangs. But... He's still cute, because he's a little guy. But I would say he's probably my least favorite. I know, I know, he needs brushed. Let me just collect a couple more butterflies and then I'll brush him. Let me get... Bam. 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 Okay, I'll brush him real quick so you guys won't yell at me. See, like, I will say that I've never really liked the Graveyard Mustangs. I know some people like them, and that's okay. I'm not going to get mad if people like them. Everybody has different tastes. But, like, I think it's pretty easy to say that even if you like them, the coat is low effort. Like, you can still like a coat and still think it's low effort. Like... The V1 Val is incredibly low effort. It's literally just a plain white Frisian with a pink heart on its butt. Like, that's pretty much all it is. It's a white Frisian with a cutie mark, and it's got nail polish on its hooves. So it's like, that one's low effort. I still like the V1 Val Frisian, but it's low effort. I, you know, I'm gonna say it, it's low effort, because that's true. But like, when I first saw the Graveyard Mustangs, this is how... I described them. Rotten grape horse with deformed turd markings. Because that's what it looks like to me. You've never seen Graveyard Mustang before. This is what they look like. <laughs> I'm sure you can see why I described them that way. Like, they're cute as a foal, but pretty much every coat is cute as a foal. So I can't really give that a point for that, but. Like, this one kind of looks like a gravestone. I don't know what happened to this one. <laughs> like, you can tell they definitely rushed drawing the, like, gravestones. If they would have spent more time, like, properly shaping and defining the gravestones, I think it would have looked really nice. But because there wasn't more time spent on it, I do not like the coat that much. Okay, now we can actually get the butterflies up here that I missed last time. Alright, see you around, DJ. But, um... How am I supposed to get that one? How am I supposed to get that one? My horse can't climb mountains. I don't think- I don't know if I can get that one. So that one might just stay up there.
You have to babysit an insane toddler? I, well, I wish you luck with that. Because that sounds like it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. See you around, caster. Which... I don't know. I'm curious. Should I... With, like, themed horses... For this set, at least. Should I do the horse coat based on their hair? And have the hair be based on their eye color? Or... Like, how should I go about that? Should I just, like, make- try to match their hair to their hair as well? Yeah, no, I'm probably going to, um, avoid doing, like, Pearl and Cremello coats if I can, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to avoid doing those ones, because Kaveh's hair color is, like, the perfect match to, like, a pearl coat. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> so I might end up having to use one of the pearl coats. I do need to figure out a breed for Alhatham as well still. Because I think we have one decided for every other character except for him. But like I'm leaning towards maybe like a Pertron. Oh my gosh. Wait, I just remembered. Today something really funny happened. It, it was like it was like something straight out of a cartoon, and I mean that like really big time. I had um I had this like this stand for my green screen propped up on a box kind of near my bed. Right? It hadn't moved an inch. It was it had stayed perfectly there ever since I put it there. My mom comes in my room, sits down on my bed, and this stand that shouldn't have moved at all, for some reason, falls and hits her, hit her right in the knee, right? And that's not the funny part. It, it definitely hurt. I, you know, I would be upset if it hurt. But the funny part was it was so loud. Like, you know, like the bonk sound effect? It sounded like that. And my mom even laughed about it, too. But it was like... It came out of nowhere. And we were like in the middle of a conversation, too. It was unreasonably funny. Miss that one. When you, you know, I really highly suggest going back and watching some of my streams from like the past couple days because I've literally done full face cam streams. I also have a face reveal video posted on my channel with face reveal in the title.
They no, that's so foul. They they actually add like a sizzling sound effect. Oh, that's so bad. Hi, Tim. I can't lie though, it was really funny. She even admitted it was funny, but like it still sound like it hurt. But the fact that it actually made like the bonk sound when it happened was just I couldn't not laugh. Which, um, I'm probably not going to stream too crazy long today. Because I did stream later than usual. I will try to go for at least hour, hour and a half at the very least. Because I do have some other videos to record. I recorded a couple. But then my internet kicked me out of the breeding hub when I was trying to record another video. So I just, I took a break and I was like, hey, I need to stream today still. Hold on. Speaking of, let me check. How are those doing? Okay, one is uploaded. I'm checking my notifications and stuff. Okay. I do have IUHs, yes. I have 11 total currently. On my butterflies. Okay, we're almost at 1.2k. I'll have to look into that, Tim. I'm down to try most things. I'll have, to, I'll, I'll have to see if I can find some and try them. I'll take your word for it. Usually things that you like are really good, so I'll take your word for it. Um, what color outfit? Pink. I, I'm biased towards pink. If you don't have pink stuff, you should go for, like, some kind of desaturated, like, red. Or some kind of, like, lighter red color would look nice. Oh, hey, don't feel bad. I've only caught one IUH ever, ever, and it was just because I joined a random public server. All of the ones I have currently were traded for or gifts. So don't worry, I'm not lucky when it comes to IUHs either. <laughs> But I'm glad I'm always open to food recommendations because food is very good. I miss your old avatar. Wait, which one? <laughs> which one? Gotta be specific, man. Alright, let's see. Butterfly count. How we doing? Alright, I'm gonna try to get to 
And then I'm going to take a little break so we can work on the video project stuff. Um, I sadly do not ride horses IRL for a combination of reasons. Most notably that there's not really any reliable, trustworthy places that offer lessons near me. Or anyone that I know, really. I would absolutely love to, if given the opportunity, learn how to ride in real life. It's just mostly because of those limitations, I can't really do much with it. That and also, I have really bad back problems, and I feel like, you know, that probably wouldn't help that much. I pressed E on that. Come on, here we go. That's so real, Tim. I feel like I should be like 80 years old, but I'm like barely even an adult right now. Which, man, it feels weird because in like a month, I'm going to be turning 19. I felt like yesterday I turned 18. I'm not ready to be an adult. Take me back. <laughs> Yeah, I really need to work on my posture. It's something that I know I need to work on. It's just very difficult to work on it. I will say my chair, my gaming chair that I got has helped me with posture because it kind of, I have to sit upright in like a proper way to actually be comfortable in the chair. So that has helped some, but I still have a long ways to go until my posture is actually like suitable again. And because I, I won't lie, I do kind of have shrimp posture. I won't, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna lie. Well, yes, I sit upright in a chair. Isn't that how you're supposed to sit in chairs? <laughs> I don't think you lay down in them. So, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe you are supposed to lay down and gaming chairs, but... Like, I'm not opposed to doing more collabs and stuff like that. It's just a matter of finding ideas to actually do collabs with because there's not really... That many unique things you can do in collabs, to be honest, in Mod Horse Islands. You know, it would be an absolute nightmare, but would be probably a very entertaining stream for you guys. If I did an entire stream standing up. My legs would be killing me by the time I was done, but it would probably be pretty funny. Hear me out. Oh no. Okay, I'm hearing you out, Tim. I'm hearing you out. Yeah, they are on Wild Island. Treadmill Street? I'm- I don't have a treadmill and I don't think I could afford one for like a singular stream. Well, that would be kind of funny. I feel like that would be entertaining and also exercise. Like, I know I definitely want to, uh, I want to do more, like, goofy streams. 
Because the Genshin one was so fun. <laughs> I looked so stupid, but it was incredibly entertaining. Like, I don't know. There was something very that made me very happy about walking around a giant Primo gym. Oh no, I'm like, I'm very much an idiot and I would 100% fall off the treadmill. 100%. I've done it in the past and I 100% do it again. No, they just, their hair has just died. I've had multiple people ask me that this stream. He is not an IUH. He is just, he has baby blue hair. Wow, I'm so good at this game. Just ran into a tree, turned away, and immediately ran into another tree. That's how you know I'm such an epic gamer. Yeah, no, Tem would definitely rob me if if Sugar was an IUH. Yeah, you know, I know there is an icy blue white TV. There is. And it's absolutely gorgeous. But no, he he's just a funny little guy with baby blue hair. Alright though. We gonna pause once I grab this butterfly. I need to start writing down stuff for the upcoming video. So I'm gonna grab a notepad here. Alright. Themed horsies. So Ave. I'll hate them. I know. I know. I'm gonna get pictures of each of them. Let me download some photos of them real quick. And I'm gonna need your guys' help because we're gonna have to pick coats, fully decide on breeds, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna need chat's help with this one. Okay, so I'm gonna get like the in-game player models of them. I feel like, you know, those are 100% going to be the most accurate ones. Why does it want to save it as that? Hold on. Why does it want to save all of these as a format that it won't show on stream? Okay, maybe we won't maybe we won't do in-game photos. Can I can I like Bam, does this work? Cuz I know if I try to use like this one I don't think this works. You're gonna try it. Will this work? Okay, it does work apparently. All right. So, you know, this guy might look familiar if you've seen my Roblox avatar that I'm currently dressed as and things like that, but this is Kabe. I'm gonna grab my little notepad. So I think for certain Kabe, we're gonna make him a Frisian. Because it just, I feel like that fits him. Um, the one thing that's going to be difficult is coat. Should I do the coat based on his hair? I feel like I kind of have to. But if I do the coat based on his hair, what coat do I do? I'm guessing something Palomino. But that leaves a lot of options still. Palomino Dapple? That is a good point. But do a Dapple Palomino. 
Let me see. He's just he's just gonna he's just gonna be there for now. I'm he can stay. So See we could also do like this coat. The Palomino Overo. There's the OG, like the legacy Dapple Palomino. We could do the new Dapple Palomino. Which honestly, maybe the new Dapple Palomino Clydesdale. Because he does have like darker tips at the end of his hair. Like a dirty blonde at the end of his hair. So maybe like the darker shading on that one would work. Um, I don't think I have like the thoroughbred one in my inventory right now. Or like, I don't know, I feel like, um, like this coat. Like, imagine this coat on a Frisian. I think that would maybe work for him. Maybe. Because, like, I feel like the darker shading would look nice here, like, on a Frisian. I don't think I have this on a Frisian. I don't. Like, I think this would be cute. It's, like... Not as light as I wish it was, but we can just do, like, Palomino hair, maybe? I wonder, is the Dapple Palomino Thoroughbred? I think the Dapple Palomino Thoroughbred is much lighter, isn't it? Hold on, let me... There is a locker, but it's, like, all the way over here, so let me run over here really quick. I think maybe... Is the is the Dabble Palomino thoroughbred lighter? I think it is, but I could be wrong. Possibly. I think I have one in my locker. I do. Oh, that's much lighter. That actually looks a lot closer to his hair color. Obviously not perfect still. But like, imagine... Okay, this on a Frisian with Palomino hair. I think that'd look nice. Okay, I'm writing this down. Dapple, Alamino, TV, Coat, some kind of Palomino, maybe flaxen hair. I think flaxen might look pretty too. See, like, it's a matter of if Palomino or flaxen looks more... Okay, this is the Palomino fade. And let me, like... Yes, I know this is stupid, but... Okay. Just ignore- <laughs> Ignore the giant cave in the corner. So, like, this is the Palomino fade. This is one of the options. Um, let's see. What other- Okay, this guy has Palomino hair. But, like, I think Palomino is too light, maybe. I think the Palomino is, like, too light. What about Flax? I think Flax it might even be like paler. Actually, no, Flax it's like slightly darker. Still too light though. Let's see what other like blondish colors do we have as an option? Um. There's Flax and Fade. Do I have a Flax and Fade horse? On me? This is Flax and Fade. That's too brown, though. Palomino Fade might be... Might be our way to go here. I don't know if there's any, like, other... I think Gold Black is too... Dark. I'll check those ones out. This is Gold Black. Uh, it's, I think it's too brown. Yeah, brown black is a no. I can already tell just by, like, 
looking at it. It's almost black and white. So I think Palomino Fade is the way to go. Palomino Fade Hair. Okay. Now it's accessories. My guess is we're gonna go like dark red. Cause like, hold on, let me. He's got a lot of red in his design. He's also got red eyes. He does have a little hints of blue and stuff in his design. And like blacks and whites. But I feel like red would be the best option because like of the eyes too. You know, we want to represent his eyes. Like this is like normal red. I feel like that might be like, is this normal red or is this bright red? That's the wrong button. Okay, this is bright red. But like, let's see. Tail flowers are too dark. Like, I, I want to avoid using one of the blue-eyed horses because he doesn't have blue eyes. And also, like, pearl and cromello and stuff like that would be really pretty, but I feel like they'd also maybe be too light. Red pad, turquoise bridal, brown saddle, red boots with the bell boots. Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know. He definitely has, like, a turquoise, like, kind of slightly green, slightly blue color going on here. Let's see if we can color match this. Oh, wow. Like, my outfit's perfect color match. They actually did a really good job on this outfit. Because I am supposed to be dressed as him. Like, we could also do something to represent the feathers. That's neon red, I believe. Do I have a do I have dark red anywhere? I didn't mean to sit down. That's fine. That's also bright red. I know I have to have at least one horse that has like dark red stuff on. Oh, you know who has dark red stuff on? Um, Ivory. The BBA horses. Did you see that? My horse just like ragdolled. Okay, on, I gotta get off my horse for this one. This is like the dark red. I feel like that's too dark. Hmm. Surely I have somebody with just like normal red on, right? Mm. That's neon. Hardy has neon on as well. They have neon red. Okay. I, I use a lot of neon red. It's like, I feel like we have to use some kind of like turquoise head accessory because of the like the feather in his hair but, like we have to do something for that but like is there any head accessories that kind of like fit that what would work as a substitute for like a feather in your hair Antlers? Maybe. Some kind of, like, thing that goes on, like, the side of their head, maybe. I'm looking through my inventory to see what I have. Oh, let me grab a random horse that doesn't have a head accessory on already. Let me just grab butter because why not? Antenna. Antenna would work, I think. That would maybe work. See, I could also just say like screw it and put a put a crown on him. Cause I do have a turquoise crown with red highlights. That would maybe be really good. It's pastel red, but but 
That does kind of color match. <laughs> it does kind of color match. Hear me out. This crown. We could use this crown. As a head accessory. I'm trying to think. Like, let me zoom out on him really quick. Okay, here's his full outfit. So, hmm, probably like some kind of dark brown or black, like a saddle and bridle would be, would be good. Um... He has, like, white shoes, so maybe, like, white bell boots of some kind. Would be nice. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to, like, figure things out here. I don't have a ton of accessories. I would have to definitely like find some accessories and stuff too. But I think I have like let me let me write this down. Turquoise head accessory. Red turquoise. I'm gonna say also probably white accessories. Dark brown or black saddle and bridle. All right, I think that's enough for me to work with when I actually record that video. So we're going to move on to our next guy. Here, I'll let you guys pick who we decide for next. Most of you guys probably have no idea who any of these are. So just vote whatever name you think sounds the coolest. If you don't know what the, who the characters are, just vote whichever one sounds the coolest to you. Which of those guys next? Which one should we figure out next? Oh, you guys are voting one of my favorite guys. I think you guys will like him. Uh-oh. It's medicine time. Hold on. It's medicine time. I gotta take my medicine. I don't have a water next to me. Hold on. Let me grab a water. I'll go ahead and end the poll real quick. Okay, I have a water. Let me take my medicine real quick. And then we will, uh... We'll start working on Tainari. Okay, now I have a really important question. Do you guys like Jackson's ears? Because if you like Jackson's ears, you will probably like Tainari. Hi, horsey! If you like... Jackson's ears, you will probably like Tainari. And I'm gonna say that now because he also has big, bouncy ears. This is Tainari. Come on, let me, let me zoom out on him. This is Tainari. He's gonna be interesting, I think. So, as you can see, he's got big funny ears. 
just like me. We're gonna figure out a horse and stuff for him next. So we were considering doing an Arabian for him. Which, Evan, are you here? Do you remember why we picked the Arabian? Because I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Why did we pick the Arabian for him again? Oh, yeah, we could do Marwari. That is true. Marwari because of the ears. You're on the meat. Do I have a Marwari with like a decent coat that we could start with? Let's just grab this one that I have. All right. But yeah, we could do Marwari because of the ears. I think I might go for a Marwari instead. I feel like we have to because of the ears. All right, so now first things first, we got to figure out a good coat for him. I don't believe there's any coats that have like green accents so we're gonna have to figure out the green accents later on we'll probably have like i don't know maybe we'll give him like a little head ribbon or something that's green but um so some kind of ooh, what if we do um like a blue rowan or something because of like the blue in his pants and things like that we could do like a blue roan maybe. We could do the blue roan quarter coat. Or like the blue roan Bertron coat too. And I do have a blue roan barwari with the quarter horse coat. I actually, is, yeah, this is the, wait. Is this the quarter horse coat? Hold on. No, this is the Pertron coat. How are we feeling about this one? This coat, maybe? I think this coat might be good. In which case, I'm gonna just uh, take that name out. Okay, I think it's pretty safe to say. I don't think there's a black to green, so just black hair. And then he does have like some flowery designs. He's like a botanist. He he like he works with plants and things like that. So maybe we could give him like a daisy crown or something like that as a head accessory. I feel like I, I use roses a lot, but I feel like a daisy or like a some kind of flower crown would be cute for him. There is black to green. Is there? Hold on, what am I doing? Larry's right here. Are you talking about, like, uh, this one? The face daffodil? This one would be maybe cute. I think that would be pretty cute. I'm buying one. Hold on. Like, in theory... Oh, it's so little. <laughs> But it does technically match like the flower on his uh on his like little chest piece thing there. I think that is really cute. Look at it. Okay, and then let's see, face daffodil. Uh what other color accessories would we do? I would say maybe like I would say probably white saddle and bridle. Because that makes sense because he has like the white wrap around him. Well, hello. 
welcome. We love new people here. So white saddle and bridle. Maybe dark blue accessories. Maybe black to green hair. Okay. I think that's everything kind of figured out for Tainari. Now, you guys get to pick again. Which guy do we do next? Alhasem or Sino? You don't know who they are, just pick whichever one sounds the coolest to you. Which I will have to try to get this on a male because I know he's not a woman. Oh man, you guys really made it 50-50. Come on, somebody break the somebody break the <laughs> the tie because we're gonna we're gonna do them both but i need to figure out which one to do first thank you okay we're gonna do all hate them next <laughs> Well, look, we already did Kabe, and we didn't do well Haytham after Kabe. So, I've, I've, I've already technically broke the law. <laughs> okay. Next is Al Haytham. This is Al Haytham. He, we, we don't have a decided horse breed for him yet. So you guys are going to have to help me with that one. So first things first. What horse breed do we do? Because <laughs> I was like leaning towards maybe doing Pertron. But I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know, making him a really short horse is honestly would be hilarious to me. <laughs> but <laughs> Like I think it's pretty safe to say that he's going to have like black and green accessories cuz that's like the entirety of his outfit. Black and dark green accessories. No, no, he's not that short. He's actually really tall. Like, hold on. Let me see if I can find a picture of all of them, like, with their accurate in-game heights. Okay, that doesn't really work. Do I, is there, I know there's a picture out there somewhere of all of them, like, in a party standing next to each other. Okay, this isn't completely accurate. This is not, like, official art, but this will give you an idea of their heights, at least. Here, hold on. Also, this art is absolutely adorable. This is kind of an idea of their heights. Alhitham's the tallest out of the four of them. Kaveh's a little bit shorter than him. Sino's the shortest, I'm pretty sure. And Tainari's is just, like, slightly taller than Sino. Well, he's actually a lot taller with the ears. But, like, not including the ears, he's a little bit taller than Sino. This is kind of, like, for a height idea. Which is why I kind of thought, like, Pertron would maybe be good. Because, you know, very tall. But, like, 
I don't know. That's why I kind of need your guys' help. I know Sino is most definitely going to be an Arabian because it just makes sense. See, like, here's my idea, right? You see how his hair is, like, a grayish silver color and it fades to a lighter color? There's a specific code I'm looking for. Hold on. This coat. Not oh, crud. Oh, pretend like I didn't do that. This coat. I feel like this coat would be like perfect. Like hold on, if this dude would stand still for a second, that'd be really nice. Oh, let me like zoom in here. Here on, we gotta we gotta make him taller. I feel like that's decently close. And it has like the fading from dark to light, just like opposite. Okay, here. Here. We'll do a poll. Pertron. Arabian. Let me see if there's any other um, ones that I've seen multiple. Or maybe a thoroughbred. I feel like thoroughbred could maybe make sense. Thoroughbred. And then somebody said Marwari. So I'll throw those four in. Which one... Should we make him? Out of those four breeds. Percheron Arabian Thoroughbred Marwari. And we'll probably use the Dapple Grey Percheron coat. Oh man, Arabian's winning. We might have we might have two Arabians in, because Sino's most definitely gonna be an Arabian. Or we could make him a Marwari and he can match with Tainari. Yeah, I don't think Arabian fits him that much, but people really want an Arabian for some reason. So, you know, I'll, I guess I'll give the people what they want. <laughs> Three favorite animals. Um, bunnies, horses, um, wolves. Bunnies, horses, wolves, in that order. Yeah, the viewers are always right. Alright, he's gonna be in an Arabian. Ooh, what hair are we gonna do for him? Is there like a fading gray hair? Or a hair that fades from like dark gray to light gray? Because I don't think there is. We might just have to go with like light gray. I feel like that would be... Would dark gray or light gray be better? That's a tough one. Um, I think this guy has... No, you have white. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people are saying light gray. So we're probably going to go light gray. Do I have a horse with light gray hair so I can show off what it looks like? Do I, hold on, do I just not? Okay, I guess I don't. <laughs> okay. I think his is pretty... Oh, you know what? We gotta get him earmuffs. We have to get him earmuffs because he wears, like, the headphone things. 
All right. Now, hold on. Let me put him back to the middle of the screen. Now, last but not least... Is Sino. He was my original favorite until I found Tainari. And then he became my favorite. And then I found Kave, and then Kave became my favorite. <laughs> I like all of them a lot. Alright. This is Sino. He's got a pretty cool outfit if I do say so myself. Now I'm gonna give you guys a vote. Are we gonna make him an Arabian or are we gonna make him Marwari? And uh, you'll see why I'm offering the option of my Marwari here in a second. So you remember how we did like Marwari for Tainari because of his ears? Sino also has ears, but his are fake. I'll let you guys decide. I'm picking one of these because he lives in the desert. So it makes sense. He has to be one of these. Because none of the other ones really make sense. And I'm not making him a Teke because I don't like Tekes. And then I can't give him his luscious, beautiful white hair. And if, if we make him Marwari, he can match with Tainari. Okay, I think it's pretty clear. <laughs> okay, well, I guess he's gonna be a Marwari. So him and him and Tainari are gonna match. Now, hear me out. I have a proposition to make. Now, let me get him out of the center of the screen. You can he can sit over here. I have a proposition to make. Instead of doing a white horse. Instead of a white horse, flea bitten. Now I have my reasons. I'll, I'll explain it, okay? Right? It's a very light gray, so it's almost white. And it has little, like, slightly brownish speckles in it that kind of look like sand. You, you see my vision? You see, like, you see what I'm saying here? Or, we just do a white horse. <laughs> we, could, we could just do a white horse in technicality. We could just do a plain white horse if we really wanted to. <laughs> but, like, there's also lots of different white coats. We got, like, the white thoroughbred. We got the white quarter horse. We got the legacy white quarter horse. We got the legacy white Frisian. We have the white Frisian. There's a lot of them. Like, the white Frisian coat is not that pretty. I will say that. I don't think I have a normal white Frisian coat right now. But this coat, this is the white thoroughbred coat. Yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like plain white's kind of plain, which is why I'm... Seeing if there's, like, any alternatives, you know? We could also do a black and white horse. Because he has, like, the black headpiece and shorts and stuff. We could do a black and white horse. Like, we could potentially do, like, the splash coat. We could also do, perhaps, the Leopard Snowflake Chimera coat, but I feel like there's not, like, enough white in this one. I don't know, this one is cute, though. We could also potentially do, like, the black and white paint horse coat.
I, know, I think spl the splash coat might be cute. We, yeah, we could alternatively do Palomino. Because he is, like, very pale. We could do, yeah, we could do Cremelo, Palomino. We have those options as well. We could use... Perhaps, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like the Palomino Reverse Dapple would be really cute. But at the same time, I can't, like, breed that. I'd have to get it with training receipts. Because the Palomino, like, Reverse Dapple is, like, a very light Palomino. Hold on. We gotta do the skin tone test. He's more tan than that. Not too far off, I don't think, though, hon. I can't see very well on my second monitor. Actually, that's not that far off at all. That's, like, almost perfect, I think. Uh, am I gonna have to grind training receipts? <laughs> I think I might have to grind training receipts. <laughs> Either that or trade for one. Oh gosh. Okay, here we're gonna make a let's let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. Well, I have to, I have to do some in like groups together first, so we can do flea bitten or splash in one category. We could do the Palomino reverse dapple, um, or we could do black and white. Oh. Pick from these three options, and then we'll whittle it down from there. And let me, like, scoot him over so he's not just, like, staring at you guys. Y'all trying to make me struggle, aren't you? <laughs> like, I do think the Palomino Reverse Dapple would probably be one of the prettiest ones, but at the same time, like, that's gonna take forever. Or you never know, maybe I'll get, like, super lucky and get a Re Palomino Reverse Dapple Marwari, like, immediately. Here, hold on. I'm gonna dye this one's hair white so we can get an idea of what it looks like with the white hair. This is with the white hair. I think it's not bad. I don't think it's bad. Not bad. Alright. Alamino reverse. Dapple. Coat, white hair. All right, accessories. We gotta do black and purple, obviously. Maybe a small hint of red. I could put red heart glasses on him. <laughs> I could. <laughs> I could put red heart glasses on him. <laughs> Chest rib kind of coat of legacy coat. No, it is. It is not. They're just really rare. I'll, I'll, I'll put the heart glasses in as a maybe. Maybe red heart glasses. And then black and purple accessory. Okay, I think that's enough information to make all of them. That's just gonna- it's gonna be a while until I could actually make them, because I'll have to, like, get everything for it. 
But since now I have to get a specific training island horse, guess what we're doing today after we get done with butterflies? I feel like orange would look a little better, yeah, but I don't have any, like, orange glasses available to me. If I find some orange glasses while looking through markets and stuff, I might give him, like, some orange glasses or something like that for, like, the eyes and the little, like, amber piece or whatever that is on his belt. Oh, let me... There we go. We gotta get 1.5k butterflies, which we should be able to pull off fairly quickly. Uh, I don't know. Is there any mods in the chat? Uh, if not, don't worry about it. I'll look after chat. Oh my gosh, <laughs> did you guys see that? There was like one butterfly and I looked away, looked back, and like 20 of them spawned in. Do you know what this means? Before I do the video of making like all of them as horses, I'm gonna have to do my market hunting thing that I wanted to do. Nyx, hello! Right on time, because we needed you, because Caden has to go eat. Okay, so... I'm trying to think. So I could do... I don't know, should I do a training receipt video? Or should I just redeem them on stream? Would you guys rather me just, like, redeem them on stream? Because I'm fine just redeeming them on stream because it's less work for me. Or I could save up, like, a ton of training receipts and then do a video trying to get the, uh, the Marwari. I think I have a good, like, 2,000 saved up right now in my locker. That we can redeem. After I get 1.5k butterflies, though. Afterwards. Ah, oh, crud. Here we go. Bam. You're all good, Nyx. If you can at least just like sort of look after chat. Yeah, look after chat, I can help too. Hopefully it won't take too long to get 1.5k butterflies. I'm almost there. And then we gotta go farm training receipts, which I might do in a public server. Because you guys give me good luck, it seems like. Hello. Uh, the fountain this year does not work. So if you're trying to interact with it and it's not working, that is probably why. They disabled it this year for whatever reason. But all of the rewards that you could get in the fountain last year, you can now get them from the normal redeem. So in a way, 
it probably is going to be slightly easier to get those items now. Um, if or when I do join a public server, I will have someone send my username in chat so you guys can join. Also, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Next update is... Checking. April 19th. That's the next update. And the next update is going to be Island Expansions. So they're just kind of like sort the islands into groups and things like that, to my understanding. Alright, we're almost at 400. Uh, 1.4, okay. This is probably, like... As much butterfly grinding as I'm going to do. Once I get the 1.5k, I'm probably not going to bother doing any more after that. Um, it is confirmed that they're going to be adding writing clubs. It's set for May 31st, I believe, but considering how much they push back updates, we will we'll probably get pushed back at least once. Yeah, they've gotten more, more and more lazy, it seems like, about bug fixing and things like that, so I'm not that surprised honestly ever since they said that they were going to like they were going to be back from like a vacation and things like that and they had more time to work on the game the updates have gotten even lower effort and i haven't barely seen them do bug fixes We can still ascend to the stratosphere. Like, I'm shocked they haven't fixed that still. You, you would think they would have patched that by now, since it's, like, really easy to completely break your game by doing that. Oh my gosh, if it's late for you guys, go to bed. Don't stay up and watch streams, especially if you have stuff to do. Okay, like a hundred more, then we're done. Wild Island is pretty. I do like the new Wild Island. It's not, like, terrible or anything. They were- they're kind of inconsistent with it, though. And I do miss the old Wild Island a lot, because it, there was a, it was a much more diverse space. And now everything is just, like, one forest. Instead of having, like, a little desert area, and a little volcano, and, like, a waterfall area. Like, there is still some of that stuff, but, like... It doesn't feel the same anymore.
I'm on Wild Island right now. I, I do wish they would have just, like, expanded it. Or, like, added on to the current one. Or, like, slightly updated it. Instead of completely changing it. And, like, they completely changed Wild Island. But Stable Island didn't get changed at all. And they didn't even plan this. This wasn't even a planned update. They just did it last minute just because they felt like it. Like, one thing that really bugs me about Wild Island, it's gorgeous. It's very pretty. But the one thing that really bugs me the most is they can't make up their mind whether they want to be realistic or fantasy on Wild Island. There's also a random bridge just out there in the ocean. I don't know if anybody else saw that. But there's just like a giant bridge just sitting out there in the middle of the ocean. And I'm pretty sure that's the bridge from, uh, from when the two islands used to be connected. And they just put it out there and you can see it and they just didn't bother to hide it at all. Like, I used to love Volcano Island. It was my favorite island. And then they made it green for literally no reason. There's not gonna be luscious green grass by an active volcano. Why would the- That grass will be gone! Burnt! Evaporated! There should not be luscious green grass next to an active volcano. That just doesn't make any sense. I mean, you don't have to spam E. I just- I do if I miss them. When the update first- when the event first came out, there was a bug where you couldn't run into them and pick them up, so you had to press E to pick them up. Which, like, I am literally shocked how broken and buggy some of the things were when this first released. You can tell they didn't bug, te bug test it at all. There was no tags on the event horses. The butterflies were broken. There was butterflies spawning in places that butterflies shouldn't have spawned. And then they patched out and everybody's mad at them. They make noise? I don't- hold on, I don't play with my- I don't play with my volume on. Do they? I don't hear anything. They don't? Okay. <laughs> They're cute, though. Like, I like the butterflies. They're really cute. Like, they have, like, little, like, cute eyes. You can't see it very well, but they have, like, the little kawaii eye things. They're very cute. All right, let me see if I can get a better angle of this here. Look. Very cute. They're very cute, but that's not going to stop me from putting them in my backpack. They're coming with me. They don't have a choice. Yeah, they got really lazy with the events. They made the events better and then just decided, okay, this is good enough. We're not going to ever change it or improve it from this point forward. So they did with a lot of the events, like the, uh, the winter event last year is just a carbon copy of the year before it.
Yeah, the reason they did so good with the autumn event is because with the autumn event last year, there was like nothing going on for it. So they could have only gone up from there, really. And like, they ruined the whole like secret horse thing the moment the event ended because they're like, oh yeah, you know the secret horse that you guys have spent hours and hours and hours trying to get and obtain because you thought it was limited uh just kidding it's not limited it's here forever so all that time you guys wasted um was for absolutely nothing like that was just evil honestly people spent hours trying to get mismatched horses and things like that because they thought the apple horses were gonna leave and then they didn't they just randomly chose to keep it and make it a robux item like, really? Yeah, nope. We're, we haven't got a 23 or a 24 for St. Patrick's Day. They did it once, and I guess they're just never going to do it again. Okay, one more. Ready? Boop. 1.5k! Woo! Let's go! Oh yeah, no, I'm pretty sure Trick really hates me. Alright, Dan Keep really doesn't like me. But you know what? That's okay. Not everybody has to like me. Considering he went out of his way to ignore me and then remove my code item from the game without telling me, he probably doesn't like me that much. Like, it's honestly kind of sad that this, like, grown man can't communicate with me and just be like, Hey, we're gonna remove your code for this or this reason. I still don't know why I got removed, because they never told me. They never gave me a reason at all. Um, how many spring events? Like, three. That's it, because I haven't really played the event that much horse catching wise i've only gotten butterflies all righty we're gonna jump over here for a minute while i get in a private not a bleh, not a private server public server i quickly i gotta send these videos over to my editor And then I'm going to send them the images separately that I have for the video. Okay. So here, if you guys want to join my game, this is my username. I'm putting it in the chat. And I'm going to join a very as small of a server as I possibly can. Yeah, the, uh, the vanilla bow code got disabled. And they never said a word to me about it. I had to find out through a viewer. Which is like, I don't know, I'm, like, I'm not even mad about it. Because like, honestly, that just means I don't have to worry about playing the game if I get bored of it and stuff like that. But, I do wish that, you know, the grown adult man who's apparently married and has worked with, act like, he's worked as a Roblox intern couldn't just be like, hey, we removed your code for this reason. They, he couldn't even muster up the courage to talk to me. Is honestly just sad. Yeah, he's married to one of the other developers, <laughs> apparently, and he people have gotten banned 
for spreading rumors about him and Cavallari being married, but they are, so it's not a rumor. Now let's see, who are we gonna train today? Let's train... Let's just train Salad. Why not? Alright. You know, he's been married for like... Four years, I think it was? I don't remember exactly. They've been married for multiple years. Apparently since before Wild Horse Islands became a thing. All right, hold on. Let me grab my training receipts. Not, not you, Larry. I have 2.1k. Let's see if I can get what I'm looking for here. I'll wait for you guys to come over here because I need the viewer luck, like, really badly. While I'm standing here waiting, check some real quick. Br bromance is very lovely. <laughs> All right, let's see if you guys give me good luck here. Wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. We need Paul. I can't forget about Paul. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, give me something decent. Oh, we got a legendary chest. My inventory is too full. Never mind. <laughs> My inventory is going to start screaming at me because it's too full. Oh. I got an Icelandic. I got a rose gray Icelandic. No, it was good. Whoa. What on earth was that voice crack? Oh, that's actually a cute cowboy hat. Rose gray fade, western saddle pad, a rare chest. Come on, another rare chest. And I'm out of training receipts. Okay, well, at least I got one horse. Here's the one I got for anybody that's curious. Okay, I need to sell some stuff from my inventory really quick because my inventory is like really full now. I'm just gonna sell it. None of this stuff is useful to me, so I'm just gonna sell everything. Um, I'm not gonna. I'll keep the amethyst cowboy hat though. That one's cute. Okay. My inventory is not overfilled now. Let me use these really quick. Legendary treasure chest. Obsidian lassos. 
And then we got two rare ones. One. Two. Okay, it's not the worst. Oh, you know what I need to check still? I need to check. On my flower garden. Maybe I should grab a faster horse. <laughs> Here, let's get Ken. You guys can also go see the spring foals and the St. Patrick's Day foals and just a bunch of the other foals in the barn and stuff if you'd like. All right, let's see. How many neon flowers do we get? None on that side. Five. Come on, I grabbed the wrong one. Ten. Fourteen. Nineteen. Okay, that's not bad at all. Nineteen from a single fo a single harvest. Uh, Evan, Nix, are you guys both in chat? I think you guys might be, but I don't know when you guys could have left. I'm not sure. Um, do either of you want to host a BBA meet at all tonight? That's very, the prismatic's really cute on lavender storms. That's all good. Just at some point tonight, maybe. Oh, what code is that? Is that the golden buckskin? That is. That's pretty on a TV. What is BBA? It is my writing academy that I own. I'm not going to be live probably too much longer. Mostly because I have stuff I got to work on. I have more stuff I got to finalize for BBA. As well as try and record a couple more videos if I have the energy to do it. But of course I'll be live tomorrow. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep like a streak up and stream like every day if I can. Man, I am sleepy. Man, I stayed up late last night and it made me more tired today. You play The Sims? I do. Not like crazy often, but I do, yeah. That's what I was gonna do yesterday that I forgot about. 
There was a game that I wanted to play yesterday, and I was gonna get up out of bed and play it, and then I couldn't remember what it was. It was The Sims. It was Sims 4. That's what I was gonna play yesterday. I forgot about it. I'm also- I'm seeing that it might be better off for me to stream earlier in the day, honestly. Because, like, a lot of the time I seem like I get really tired towards the end of stream when I start at, like, 5 or 6. So maybe I'll start doing some earlier streams, too. Do you like- Temi's very nice. HV is Horse Valley, I'm pretty sure. That's okay if you guys miss streams. I probably won't do them, like, all the time. Just, like, if I'm up and early. Because I was not up early today. I'll say that. No, my name is pronounced Kai. It just looks like it's spelt Chi. Also, sadly, I'm not accepting gifts at the moment. My inventory is way too full for it. Like, my streams have done, like, full 360 over time. Like, I've, there's been times where my streams every day were at, like, 2 a.m. And then there'd be times where I would stream at, like, noon, 5, 3, 9 a.m. It's just really, it just did, it really depended how I felt those days. Now that I'm on a more, like, strict stream schedule, it's been rougher on me, but it's helped me stay consistent, at least. You know what's wild, though? It seems like I have more viewers when I stream really early in the day. I have played Horse Life before, yes. I played it the day it came out, and I've played it a couple times since, just off-stream. Hold on, I'm, I gotta answer some stuff really quick. What do you think warm bloods look like? Um, I think the warm bloods are probably gonna look like thoroughbreds or Arabians. That's my guess. Like, here, this might help you guys with pronouncing my name right. My name is Malachi. So, when you're pronouncing the last half of my name, think of it as if you're saying my full name. So, Malachi Kai. That might help a little bit too, if you look at it from that perspective. Why do you pronounce it Malachi? Why do so many people do that? It's literally just a shorter version of the word Malachite, which is a gemstone. 
It's just missing two letters. I've so many people have such a hard time saying my name and it's honestly really funny. <laughs> here look, here. If this helps, I have a whole list of names that I'll respond to, right? I have a whole list of names that I'll respond to that I've accumulated over time. You can call me Malachi, Kai, Jackson, Jax, Blitz, um, maybe Bailey, that one might not work, but maybe. Uh, you can call me Vanilla, you can call me Orange, Alpha, though that one's kind of an older one. Uh, Ken, you could call me Ken. I'm fine with that too. Because my mom and sister have started calling me that for whatever reason. How many names do you have? I have a lot. I've accumulated a lot over time. There was also there was also a point in time where I went by the username LeBlonde. And yes, that's embarrassing. Please don't call me that. But I have gone by that username in the past. I mean, you could call me Pocky. I'll probably respond to Pocky. My family does watch my videos, yes, sometimes. My sister, my mom, and dad have all watched my videos or streams at least at one point. Pocky the Snack? Yes. That's actually what my username is. KaiXPocky. It was made by one of my friends. Like Lake Territory Reborn. I I have gotten that in my recommended. I might check it out during a random game stream or something like that. I mean, my whole family are gamers, so I'm not that embarrassed. Can I call you the child eater? Prefer preferably not. <laughs> Preferably not. You're like, I can explain, if you guys want to, I can explain literally all of the names. Like, all of my nicknames and why I have them as, like, optional names. If you guys want to know. I can give you... An explanation for every single one of them. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny though, Atlantis. <laughs> My birthday is May 7th. Bro. Okay, so I have a story for you guys, right? I, I know I mentioned that my mom and my sister have started calling me Ken. And it's not because of my horse in game. Thank you for the sub, I appreciate it. 
So, what I didn't realize, right? My dead name has Ken in it. My dead name has Ken in it. Which I'm not going to say what my dead name is. But it has K-E-N in it. In the nickname that my parent, my mom and my sister and stuff like that always called me was Ken and a few letters after it. So, to make it easier for them, they've just started calling me Ken. What's a dead name? So, and I don't go over this very often. I am trans, transgender. Which, I'm not gonna get into that whole thing. So, born female, I'm a man now, that's pretty neat. Um, I had a different name. My name wasn't always Malachi. Uh, it was before something different, which I'm not gonna talk about because I don't want to live that, you know? I already have to deal with that in my personal life from time to time. But, I had a different name. But I no longer want to go by that name because it makes me uncomfortable, so that is my dead name. So that is not me anymore. That name is dead. It does not belong to me anymore. That's what a dead name is. So if you ever hear that term, it's, a, it's sometimes even used by people who aren't trans. It could be just somebody chose to go by a different name legally, and then they legally change their name to something else. Whatever their old name is, is their dead name. So it's kind of just like... A name that you had that is no longer in use. Like, I don't know. I don't talk about it that often. Because I really don't want to make my whole personality like, Oh, I'm trans. Yippee! I'm not going to talk about it all the time. I only bring it up when it's like we're actually on the topic of something like that. I don't know. I it, it really bugs me when people constantly like talk about it and things like that. Like that's so awesome if you're trans and you are comfortable with yourself. That's awesome. But I don't need to hear every 5 minutes you reassuring me that you are in fact trans. I understand you are. That's okay. I'm not going to be mad about it, but you don't have to keep telling me and things like that. Just be who you want to be, but don't make it your whole personality if you're part of the LGBTQ community, because that's just kind of dumb, in my opinion. You should have your own personality that it doesn't matter if you like men or women, or you're a man or a woman, or you are neither, or both, or whatever you want to be. But don't make it your whole personality, because that's dumb. Don't connect your personality to your sexuality or your gender. Say it louder for the people in the back. <laughs> like, I don't know. I think a lot of people who don't like the LGBTQ community just think everybody's like that. Which is why so many people, like, seem like they don't like people like that. At least that's my guess. That some people are kind of against the LGBT community because they've only seen, like, the people who make it their whole personality or things like that. Um, I, I kind of don't, I can't really speak for people in the non-binary community or people who go by they, them. It is just a gender neutral term. Um, it can be used for a group of people. Or it can also be used as a gender neutral term. So if somebody doesn't feel comfortable presenting feminine or presenting masculine, they might go by they, them as a way to disconnect themselves from both of those genders. I know, like... For example, the pronouns I have on screen. I really am just he, him. But, however, I do want to include the option of they, them as a neutral term for people who might have a hard time getting my pronouns right or they just feel more comfortable calling me they, them and that's okay by me because it's gender neutral. Like, I'm okay answering questions and things like that, but I also, I'm not an expert in this. There's like, I don't think anybody's an expert when it comes to things like that, because it's different from person to person. Like, I am probably going to have a different, like, coming out story and things like that than everybody else would, because I'm not the same person as, say, I don't know, Nyx or Soap or people in game or people in stream chat. 
I'm not the same person as them. So they might have a whole different story than compared to me. Like, and some people just say, I don't care about pronouns. Call me a man, a woman, both, neither. I don't care. And that's okay. Why did this turn into therapy? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Sometimes people just need someone to talk to. Or they're curious and they want to ask questions and that's okay. It's okay to be curious about things. I know. To learn about the LGBTQ and stuff like that. I asked people that I felt comfortable asking. Or asking people who I felt like I could trust their opinion or things like that. I'm okay being that person for people. Because I do try to explain things in a way that's safe for everybody. Like, I'm not gonna go tell somebody, oh, you have to be trans, or... No, like, you, you're you probably this, or you're probably that. Like, I don't want to accidentally influence something like that, but... Um, pronouns is essentially just, like, the term of, like, to identify yourself. It really is just a matter of what you feel most comfortable with. Do you feel more comfortable people calling you he, him, or she, or her? Or do you feel like neither of those fit you? And you feel like you'd be more comfortable with they or them or things like that. Like, I think it's good for people to learn about the community, but I also feel like it's good for people to be able to form their own opinion on things within the community. Like, I'm not going to tell people, oh, you have to like the LGBTQ community. You have to do this. You have to do that. You can form your own opinion on things. I know... The way I found out how I was most comfortable with my pronouns was I asked my close friends, Hey, I feel this way. I want to see if I really am feeling more comfortable presenting masculine or not. Could you guys, for a little while, call me by this name and these pronouns to the best of your ability? And I never went back. After I had, after they started referring to me as he, him, and by Malachi, I never went back. It's been, like, over two years now. Name ideas? Um... Uh, man, you guys, why do you guys always put me on the spot here? You should name them. Uh, fudge cookie or just fudge. My market's empty right now. Yeah, no, here's the thing that makes me mad. People in the LGBT community or in the com they're not in the community either, they make it seem like you can't go back if you're not comfortable with it. And if you go back, oh, you're just lying, or this, or this, or this. It's fully normal for people to experiment with pronouns and things like that. Do not shame anybody for feeling like, okay, maybe I really am more comfortable with my original pronouns, or things like that. There should be no reason be shaming people if they tried different pronouns and they didn't feel comfortable with it. It doesn't mean they were lying. Maybe they did feel most comfortable as that for the time. But then things changed. Things can change. I thought I was a lesbian once. Clearly I'm not. <laughs> but <laughs> Clearly I'm not. But there was a point in time where I genuinely thought that.
the ghost frisian with horns normal a ghost frisian with horns is rare um you could rarely obtain them during the halloween event of last year Name ideas. Oh gosh, are we really starting this again? <laughs> Name ideas. Name it. Um. Uh. Man, I don't know. Name it fleece. Um, I am gonna say this because I know. This will probably get brought up at some point. I feel like, to a certain extent, kids should be careful about fully labeling themselves and things like that, especially at a very young age. And even though I am a trans person myself, I do not agree with people under the age of 18 getting medically transitioned or taking hormones and stuff that could harm them. It's one thing if your doctor... It's like, okay, you're healthy enough to take these, that's okay. But even if you are healthy enough to take them, there's still risk. I feel like people who are under 18 shouldn't be taking those risks. I know when I was like 16, I wanted to get like gender reaffirming surgeries and things like that. But then I changed my mind because I was like, okay. I'm, I'm not. I don't want to do that before I'm 18. And I also don't want to do that and then... Feel like I changed my mind or things like that. Yeah, you guys are free to take screenshots. I'm never gonna say no to screenshots. That's totally fine. I just might not be able to get you like a one-on-one -on -one screenshot because there is a lot of people in game right now. This is fudge now. I like their tack. They're very cute. You guys can post whatever, take pictures, do whatever you want. I don't... That's fine. I'm not gonna get mad at you if you record something or you take a picture. Your hair looks like Jimmy Cotton Candy. <laughs> Who said that? See, here's the thing, right? There is also terms for people who do not feel romantic toward, like, for, towards other people. Like, they genuinely don't fall in love. There is some people like that. And there is labels and stuff like that. If you think that might be something, I would suggest looking into Aero Ace. So, aromantic and asexual and things like that. I would look into that. That might be something that could point you in the right direction. So, don't fully take my word for that do your own research and find out what makes you feel the most comfortable um right now i believe the server may be full however usually you can type in my username and you can join my profile through there there usually be a green join button you can ask any of the people with the blue usernames for my username and they will get it for you they have a, they have all the links and things like that usually on hand and they have resources available for that you have a goofy name for this mismatch yeah i'm assuming it's this person on the the fjord i was asking that You have a goofy name for this mismatch. Um, you should name it... Cow. Just cow. <laughs> yeah, just cow. <laughs>
Oh my gosh. Okay, so you guys are about to get a Kai Laura drop, by the way. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say this now. When I was really little, when I was really little, I really loved cows. Loved them. They were my favorite thing ever. I loved cows. I still like cows, but they were like my favorite thing ever. And there was this, uh, there's this little cow area, like this pasture that's like right next to the road near my house. And, well, not like super close, but kind of near my house. And anytime my mom or my grandma or anybody who was driving the car drove past the pasture, I would have, I would roll down my window and I would wave at the cows. And I would like call out to them and stuff like that. I loved cows when I was little. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll brush Ken. Calm down. I'm just disappearing into the cluster of horses. Cows are great. I love cows. I gobbled a turkey and it gobbled back. That's the highlight of my year. <laughs> okay, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, if you're talking about the thing in the title where it says we're working on a video, we already got all the details and things like that written down. Um, I was having chat help me figure out plans for a video that I was gonna do. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, we always support flexing on the siblings. You go, Jane. <laughs> Love flexing on the little siblings. Or, well, sibling. I'm assuming younger, but I could be wrong. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, please. But I know, I know I very much enjoy flexing on my little sister. Very, very amusing. But she also does it back to me, so. Oh my god. Oh dang, nice. I still have yet to catch one of the Marwaris. Oh, the cafeteria ladies. I've there were so many really nice cafeteria ladies in my like schools when I used to go to public school and stuff like that. You know, honestly, I'm shocked about that, Tim. I'm so used to you catching the high tiers so fast. See, like here's the thing. I'm strict about my forever full collection. And I always try to use wild cut horses if I can. I'm getting sleepy. Did the color of your saddle be? Hmm. I would say match it to the bridle. I think the bridle looks really cute. I think the, I think matching the saddle to it would be nice. Oh, that's great, Tim. <gasps> Dapple Grey Clydesdale! I'm a sucker for the V1 Dapple Grey Clydesdales. Funfetti! Oh, that's great. They would be besties with confetti cake. Um, part of the Wild Horse Islands community is toxic. Part of it. Not all of it. Hold on.
Sorry, my sister came in. Yo, hold on, wait. I gotta get I gotta get Echo really quick. We love you on Dapple Grey Clydesdales. I have so many. Here, hold on. You guys want to see? From here to here is all Dapple Grey V1 Clydesdales. I also have quite a few Dapple Palomino ones as well. My favorite of them, of course, being Piano. Like honestly, they can they can keep the toxic people over on TikTok. They can keep the toxic Von Horse Silence players over on TikTok. TikTok can have them. I don't- I don't want them on YouTube. <laughs> TikTok can keep them. Like, it- it does kind of seem like a lot of the toxic Wild Horse Silence players are on TikTok. Not everybody on TikTok that plays Wild Horse Silence is a bad person or toxic. But- a lot of the Wild Horse Islands TikTok community is very toxic. But like, again, that's not everybody. There might be a couple really sweet Wild Horse Islands TikTok creators. Not everybody, but majority of the people over there from what I've seen, from my own personal, from my own two eyeballs, they are pretty toxic over there. By my V1, what, what? Um, uh, it depends. If it's a legacy coat, I need maybe. <laughs> if not, probably not, because I've tr I've tried to get rid of a majority of my V1 Frisian collection. Toxic, both in game and in comments, it seems like, but majority of the time under comments. Uh oh, I'm lagging. I know that I've I've seen like on Tem's TikTok and things like that. I don't think the comments are there anymore. But I've seen multiple times where people have gotten like genuinely mad at Tem because they wouldn't like they said, Oh well no, I collect titles. I'm not gonna give them away or trade them away and people would get so mad i i think some people don't understand what collecting is a lot of the time people are not going to trade away their collections <laughs> you're not for trade horses not for trade i know right it's crazy <laughs> i had someone on um i had someone on one of my youtube shorts a long time ago about jackson i put in the caption like oh i love jackson he's awesome he's not for trade so hopefully that would reduce the people asking if he was for trade in the comments and somebody in my comments and i don't fault this person they're probably young maybe they were having a bad day but <laughs> somebody in that in that comment section, which I believe I've removed the comments since then, somebody in that comment section was like, why would you specify that he's not for trade? Do you think people are just going to want to trade for your horse because it's cool? Well, it's not. People don't care. So why did you specify it was not for trade? <laughs> like, that person got mad at me for just putting, like, NFT, not for trade, in the caption of my YouTube short. 
<laughs> That's great, Tim. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've been accused of flexing too before for just like riding on a rare horse. Like here's here's the thing I don't get, right? I've seen people get mad at people for riding around on rare horses. Because oh it's flexing or oh if it's not for trade, why are you riding it? So you're telling me you're gonna get a V1 valve region or a really pretty IUH and you're just never gonna ride it? Ever? In a game about riding horses? Like, that literally doesn't make any sense. Like, if you were playing just to trade, then maybe. But, like, even then. Like, I traded a V1 Valfrisian for Raspberry. I'm just- I'm not gonna just leave them in my inventory forever. Like, I spent a lot to get raspberry. I ain't just gonna hide them in my inventory. I'm gonna ride around on them. Because I like them a lot. That's why I traded a rare horse for it. I love Cheddar Whale. Cheddar Whale's great. It is very pretty, but I don't believe I need any of that. I do like the black to purple. It's very nice. My favorite thing about raspberries, they got McDonald's. They got a McDonald's outfit going on right now. See, I've talked to Tim about potentially doing a co-stream someday. I know I've been on Tim's streams and voice chat multiple times. Ooh, I'm starting to lag a little bit. Uh-oh, <laughs> that person's lagging too. <laughs> Good night, Jordan. <laughs> but Tim, I stream every day. <laughs> That's honestly a mood though. I'm sorry, guys. I don't accept gifts. I appreciate it, though. I don't know. Someone's saying Clyde fights. <laughs> I don't know why everybody's rearing. Okay, but, like, real, though. Honestly. Oh no, everybody's fighting each other now. <laughs> like, I can't lie. The, I got out of bed today because I was hungry. So, I can't really say much. You know what I kind of want to play after stream? Creatures of Scenario. How can we bed rot if no food? Literally, yeah.
Um, it is kind of annoying when people don't take no as an answer. But I think the main issue with that is a lot of people who do that are younger kids who probably haven't been taught manners by their parents. Because it honestly seems like, especially with the younger, younger kids, a lot of their parents are not teaching them manners. Which, like, at the age some of these kids are, you really should know at least basic manners. Like, please and thank you and understanding what the word no means. I know for a long time, um, when any time people would get mad at me, like this was before I got into like content creation a lot and things like that. Oh, you are? I love that one. It was very cute. I know um, one time there was somebody who was really making me mad because they wouldn't leave me alone when I said something was not for trade. So I just started responding to everything they said with, Okay, or mm-hmm, or yeah, and eventually they left me alone because I got mad. <laughs> Sometimes all you have to do is just go, okay, until they leave you alone. Or just say, okay, yeah, mm-hmm. Or just say no over and over again until they leave. Not spamming, but every time they speak to you, just say, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, like... It is bad, because the Wild Horse Islands community used to be really nice. Like, there really wasn't many people who would do stuff like that. And now, as the game's gotten more popular, it's just gotten, like... It's gotten way worse. Oh, also, I've gotten back into doing art again, guys. You guys want to see some of my horsey doodles? Here, I'll start with the one I made for Tim. <laughs> it's so cute, guys. You're gonna love it. So I drew one of Tim's horses. In a super cute pose. All I have to say is, you're welcome. <laughs> I spent like 10 minutes drawing this. <laughs> it was so worth it. <laughs> they look so goofy and I love it so much. <laughs> All right, here, I'll, I'll show you guys some of the other stuff. Okay, next, hear me out. What if IUHs had different hair, like, materials and textures? Like, uh, for example, what if, you know those, um, like, rag dolls? That have, like, the strips of hair instead of it being, like, actual hair. It's just, like, little rectangular strips. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. What if leathery horses had, like, strips of leather instead of actual hair? Like, wouldn't that be adorable? Like, I don't know. That's just my headcanon. If I ever draw a leathery horse, I'm drawing them like that. Alright, next we have an unfinished sketch that I'll probably finish at some point. I was drawing one of my characters as, like, a horse. I don't know which character it is. I think it's supposed to be Kiro. But I could be wrong. It's just a sketch. I don't know if I'll finish it. I'll probably, but... 
And yes, that does say funny watermark. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good though, Aloha. <laughs> I would cry of laughter, honestly, if that was a thing. All right, and last but not least, something I drew for Tango. This one's fully done. Like, I fully colored this one and things like that. Ah, hold on. Okay. Bam. I drew this one for Tango. This is one of their horses. It's like, I'm trying to find a st art style of horses that I really like and that I can draw, like, over time. It's an Arabian. I believe that is the saddle pad from Lunar Islands. But yeah, that's everything I drew yesterday. I haven't really drawn much today. I did do one little doodle, but I don't feel like sending that to myself and all that. Um, I have a lot of horses on cooldown right now, so I'm probably not going to do co-breeding for the moment. I was recording breeding videos earlier today. No! Not the fun dipstick! That's heartbreaking. Devastating. rip fun dipstick um i should probably end stream i'm getting sleepy we're almost three hours in and i usually only stream for like two yes morning mace is very pretty i like that dye on the coat I sadly can't go to bed yet because I still got stuff I gotta do. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna try to stay on a sleep schedule. I'm gonna go to bed before 1 a.m. at the very latest. Alright, though. I'm probably gonna end stream. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm probably gonna be live tomorrow. I don't know if it's gonna be Wild Horse Silence or what. But, I hope you guys enjoyed. And thank you guys for helping me plan out that video. I really do appreciate it. Alright. Have a good day or night. Bye, everyone.